welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host, Mike, and with me, I have Kage. Kage, we got a decent show planned. We've got three stocks. We're going to bang right through it and get to it. You ready to jump on this thing? Uh, Sure. Why not? Okay. Sure. One of the first stocks we're going to talk about is BNGO. BNGO. Last tick was $2.21. Going to the chart, well, we know what uh, the 20, uh, 2021, 2022 days, uh, we have the, the drop dip for year to date, and then you're seeing some resistance pop up. In April, in August of 2022, you did see this thing uh, close to uh, the $5 mark, about a quarter of the way, and uh, a little over a quarter, uh, three buck range, and then, we, then we're seeing resistance come up again. Uh, so we're at 221 currently right now. Uh, after hours really doesn't matter because the numbers aren't too significant. Going into what would you say uh, they do here? If you are new to this stock, uh, they engage in it's a life science instrumental uh, instrumentation company which focuses on the genome of analysis space. The firm engages in the development and marketing of the Sapphire system, a platform for ultra sensitive, ultra structural variation detection that enables researchers and uh, clinicians to accelerate the search for new diagnostic therapeutic targets and streamline uh, cytogenetics. Includes uh, Sapphire, uh, BioNano chips, uh, BioNano prep kits, or BioNano data solutions. The company was founded and headquartered in San Diego, California in 2003. Kage, going on to stock twits, because that's where the real traders are at. Kage, what do you have on the twits? Uh, I have a couple of bulls here for this stock and, uh, mostly the, uh, sentiment from what I've seen so far has been mostly bullish or positive. Okay. How about this take from one of these uh, traders? He's a plus member on stock twits. He's called Cisco trader. He says BNGO bullish because of the volume and the university of Kansas and NIH project has me more intrigued. Bio Nano Genomics, and he's got a little uh, thing for his uh, account. He says it's filled for it. So why is uh, it looks like we're on investors' place here? Why is Biogenomics uh, stock up 11% today? Well, new study results are sending the stock higher today, guys. Like I've told you before, and I've said in the past, and I've covered this one in the past, and I'll go to the website in a little bit here after I cover the Alphabet news because we're gonna cover their takes. We're gonna get the traders' takes. And uh, you're going to get some of the takes of uh, where, as far as where they're at in uh, research and things like that. But like I've said before, uh, some of these stocks, uh, just like last night, like we talked about, uh, you're, you you take what they what they have in the hopper as far as uh, treatments, things like that, uh, studies, and you ride that wave. And when you ride that news wave, you get pops. Like for example, today you had an 11 percent uh, pop today. Uh, the stock is climbing higher on Wednesday after a published study. This covered the optical genome mapping OGM is detecting complex structural variations, SVs. They are cancer variants that cause tumor suppressors for the VIA activation of uh, octogenes. So uh, obviously they're in the cancer field there, Kage. That's a huge plus. And like I said, we've been here before covering them, uh, you know, in the past. They hit that. They hit that mark, which we talked about. Could be maybe we talked about it three months ago or six months ago. That's why the message volume on the twits uh, is popping through the roof right now. It's one of the hottest talked to, talked about stocks right now. Correct. Uh, from what I've seen, yes, for this for today. It says it looks. Yeah, like it it's says the uh, message volume is up forty five point fifty four percent. So. But the cancer news is popping on there, and so uh, with with that with that news. So going into uh, the, the stock is rising higher on Wednesday following the publication of the study related to the optical genome mapping, mapping OGM. Uh, according to the company, OGM was used to investigate molecular subgroup of uh, hepacellular uh, carcinoma. The study revealed the replication of stress-induced events, which cause uh, genomic instability in cancer cells. What does that mean? Genomic uh, instability in cancer cells can lead to an activation of uh, octogens that can in turn result in disruptions, tumor suppressors, and events will also note that the HCC, the most common form of liver cancer, that is huge. Uh, also, uh, those developing those uh, suppressors is huge. Uh, so investors place rights, why does it matter? The published study compared to OGM is detecting the factors above against the whole genome sequencing 
And what is found is WGS detected 63% of complexal structure variations uh, discovered with OGM. So guys, uh, with this, before we go into the PhD professor there, Eric Comlin, his, his study there, this is this is huge news. And you could have, if you went back, if you were following uh, this channel uh, going back probably three or six months ago, we probably said put this one on your radar. Wouldn't you say there, uh, Kage? It was either me, you, or Kameo, most likely with you. But we did talk about this one before is saying watch uh watch find your buy point and then watch uh the news articles here correct and watch the yeah. studies i back up what i say and i have i have in my receipt so you can go back and fact check me i i don't i totally believe i wasn't negative towards this one i was saying last year as you're seeing the gravitation of the economy start to deteriorate uh these are the type of stocks that you would want uh to uh put on your watch list and things like that so Eric Homlin, PhD, president of CEO, uh, BioNeurogenomics, said the following news release. Cancer is often thought as disease-structured variation. This study illustrates how OGM with potential unravel a complex mechanism involving octogenesis. Okay, so th there you have it on that. Uh, what do you have on the twits? Uh, how about this take from Hale Riser? He says, BNGO. Personally, relief finally came. It was a tight couple of months there recently, but very excited to see how to have just sold out work to cover my next three months the last week. I needed to log out and focus on my S was all. <laughs> Once the powder job, is man. stacked, the adding can resume again. Sad I didn't get more of the dollar seventies and dollar eighties, but those came and mm -hmm. went fast. But I have a feeling we might see them again before Powell and company are done breaking things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see that that's the thing here, guys, is that uh, with everything, it's research and science and how Washington's tied into a lot of the funding and things like that. As long as they're not uh, you you have to watch how these things go, but as long as they're well funded and look where the paper trails go, uh, a lot of these are are probably a little bit more of your safer bet versus some of uh, your other ones, especially energy things like that we've been talking about before. And that's pretty much a lot of what we're covering today is the is those uh, stocks and what yesterday. I mean, considering yesterday's stock, the theme basically is energy. And uh, biopharma, uh, wouldn't you say there, Kage? Is that that's the theme the net the past two or three days? Maybe that's some of the buying that we're seeing with the market uh, trending. Now we still like to call that a dead cat bounce, but you're still going to see your other stocks tr start uh, to deteriorate uh, as we go down the line as this thing goes towards the correction. There, uh, what do you got on the twists? Uh, how about this one from Farts Dust? He says BNGO. Lots of volume, but fairly stable for last few hours. How much is this specifically, and how much is general market uncertainty remains to be been? And this was uh, almost uh, one o'clock this afternoon when mm -hmm. he posted that. So, so not there, there's I, a lot of people actually talking about this stock. I mm -hmm. mean, yes. Lots of people are watching this. They've been commenting throughout the day. So th and I'm not, this is myself, popping. Myself and yourself, we're not a promoter. We did not, uh, we don't own shares in the stock. We are telling you uh, what we see. And before we didn't own shares and we talked about it uh, before. Uh, going in right here, you have the products. You have uh, the Sapphire, the, bio ch uh, the Biosano chips the prep kits, the data solutions, uh, and you have you have several, and, and with the service providers there, you have several things there uh, going forward that you can look for news to hit. The cancer news was one, one bit and piece of the puzzle, but going down the line with, with, the pre with this price like this, uh, it, anything can happen with that as far as uh, positively. You're just going to, you're just going to, some of you will short this one probably because that's what your game is and things like that. And some of you will regret it uh, if this turns into the next Norovax or one of those other ones, wouldn't you say, Kage? Mm. Yeah. All right. So uh, what do you have on the twits? Uh, how about this one from 
Wall Street buy dip. He says, my alerts for small plus mid caps. I have timestamps plus buy fills for everything. What's my win rate? I only buy when algos are tired of selling. How? I buy when heaviness percent is low. It's a simple strategy. Next, I'll trade mm -hmm. ZOM, BNGO, VUZI, SENS, and CEI. And he's got his now, little uh, I, charts and, his, and the comments for each stock that he's trading. That's really grab, uh, interesting. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I grabbed SENS a long time ago. So that's one I do own. I grabbed shares in that a while ago, and I just put it in the basket, move on, and, and uh, look at the next. So I can tell you I do own shares and cents. Uh, it's not popping right now, uh, but we'll, you know, I'm still going to hold on to it. I'm not going to freaking dump on it or anything. Uh, so you also have your genetic diseases here. So that's another thing to watch out. So today you have cancer. Uh, going down the line, uh, you have the genomic Y detection of a structural variance. And uh, they go through the list of everything their studies and their candidates are, are going through right here. So you have a, this whole PDF is basically all their all their receipts. So you have that to go to look forward to. Uh, and they go into their studies. So not going into to get bore people or anything like that. But you can do your own homework on that. Uh, but you can see, Kage, several things in the hopper. Uh, as far as this, what else do you have on the twits as far as real traders? I want crappy comments. I want bears. I want whatever here. See what you got, my friend. I haven't seen bears for this stock. I'm afraid. Thank I'm, I'm I scrolling down quite far and I'm not seeing bears. The only a bear on this stock would probably be suspects uh, to try to sell, make people sell to the cheap. Uh, so yeah. they could get the cheap. Uh, how about this uh, take from PDX? In in envy, he says BNGO bullish research must have clinical uses. Moat of patients, nano channels, lab software, partnerships being established, revenues starting to go exponential. You really going to mm -hmm. short this? Yeah, th and that's that's what I'm saying. If you're out there, you do not short this, guys. Don't don't short this stock. You're gonna if you're a shorter. I mean, it, it, whatever your game is, that's fine. I, I'm not telling you what to do, but I mean, I am, but I am, uh, I am, but I'm not. But I'm just saying that you're you're running the risk of your if you short it, you're gonna forget about it, walk away from it, not pay attention, and uh, maybe you will be happy with your decision, and maybe you'll regret it. I don't know. I'm just saying I wouldn't recommend shorting this one. Uh, just my take there. But what do I know? I'm just a guy with a show. Uh, CEI, Camber Energy Inc. Uh, this is the next stock we're going to talk about, Kage. Uh, last tick on this one was zero, uh, 0 0.24. Going to the chart, well, uh, obviously the beginning of March, uh, we saw this stock uh, creep up a little bit on us. And then we saw that downturn, which is uh, the June, June, uh, June gloom uh, with all the negative uh, you know, economic news there. So uh, we're back into October now, and we're seeing the resistance come up. Why? Uh, so we're gonna going into what would you say they do here? Because some people are new and they don't know what the company does. They're an independent oil and natural gas company, guys. Oil and natural gas. The season for that we talked about last summer uh, was uh, that these are stocks that you want to put on your watch list. Camber was trending as. Right now, going into winter time, and like we discussed last night, and going into uh, December and January, uh, and as far as this crisis uh, over in Europe uh, intensifies, obviously the natural gas stocks will react to that. Uh, so, Camber Energy is an independent oil and natural gas company, engages in the acquisition, development, and the sale of crude oil and natural gas in various uh, known produ product uh, productive. Geological formations. Its operations mainly focus on central Oklahoma, south and west Texas. Camber Energy was founded by William Sawyer James uh, Cerna on December 16, 2003, and is headquartered in Houston, Texas. Uh, going on to stock twits, Kage, because that's where the real traders are at. What do you have on um, the twits? Uh, I've seen bulls for this one. 
like for example, mm -hmm. take this take for instance. This is from Bull Runner. He says CEI should reach seventeen dollars by December. Do not sell off too quick. Let it run and have your buckets in place. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. What else you got? Uh, how about this one from Stephen Cornwell? He says, uh, no, no, he he doesn't have that for that particular company. He's uh he has a couple of other stocks that he's also talking about with that one. He said right I mean, not no offense from, to the comment or nothing, but yeah, well let's see. Lugo Box 91, he says, CI bullish, owns Viking Energy. Oh, now we going to the moon. Hmm. And he said, got it's a not, uh, picture of, uh, of a Viking ship on the moon with uh, the Apollo 11 landing in the background. That's not that, that, that's not that far of a reach considering uh where where we're at uh where energy uh talks and energy prices and situations are at right now so that that take is a very decent take there uh what else do you got from the boards uh how about this one from randall 37 he says ci bullish sold in the four dollars last year better average this time around don't know about five dollars, but looking for four dollar minimum. But that's just me. Hmm. Hmm. That's a that's a conservative take. If you want to go conservative, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't I don't see I, I don't see that uh, I don't consider that a bad a bad take at all. I actually consider that a decent take as far as uh, his projections right there. Uh, you never you never know there, uh, especially like I said as things deteriorate. Camber Energy uh, CEI shares are trading higher at 9.5 percent to 23 Wednesday. This is coming from Bazinga uh, afternoon, and increasing the price following the report suggested of OPEC has agreed to a two million day a barrel output cut. That's going to put a ringer and bring up energy prices, of course. Why it matters? The reduction uh, could reverse weeks of decline. It's why it matters. The reduction could reverse declining oil and gas prices, according to Reuters. Uh, despite the U.S. lobbying to retain current quotas, you don't go and beg like that, like you do for that. So uh, that was the nice way of saying the the Saudis gave the middle finger there, wouldn't you say? Mm. And OPEC. Well, it is uh, the energy producing countries that comprise OPEC, but yes. Yeah, yeah, they're like, who do you think you are, dude? You know. Uh, the U.S. promised to buy 200 uh, million barrels of OPEC members to restock its strategic petro petroleum reserve. Uh, good, good try on that one. Uh, Camber, you know, you notice how the, with the regime talking points uh, with, the, with, with the alphabets, they don't, there's no criticism in this article. It's just like, oh, they, uh, you know, they didn't, they, they, you know, they said they would, but they didn't. And it's just. Cooler carrying, man. It's, it's them. Uh, it's them uh, being lap dogs waiting mm -hmm. for scraps. Yeah. Put the freaking heat on these people. Uh, yeah, put their feet actually, to the fire. Yeah, put their feet the, to the fire. I tell you what, if uh, if if Bush was in there, dude, they'd be freaking nailing it like crazy, you know. And I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of the guy. I'm just saying. So. Uh, Camber Energy is active for oil and gas market. The company engages in the acquisition and development of crude oil and gas, natural gas from various known productive geologic formations. According to Bazinga Pro, Camber Energy is a 52-week high of 365 at zero and 18 cents. Sorry, that was. Uh, let me go back to that. 365 and 18 cents. Okay. Uh, what else do you have here on the twits? Uh, how about this one from? Sen Sentex Day Trader. He says, CI bullish. Glad to see CI is making moves again. Last year bought heavy mm -hmm. at 30 at 93 cents. At was then the top, and I thought I was chasing. It got mm -hmm. to the four dollars. No, you weren't chasing, my friend. Ma my magic friend, will strike again. Chasing. I bought 
HUSA Today and in PMKT will be loading CEI. Oil will be in play through next summer, but I operate yeah. under the belief that old Vlad is going to use tactical nukes this year because Russians are only losing because USA weapons are superior. Putin mm -hmm. will deliver paycheck payback soon. Oil and Where's shipping will run like they did in March. Yeah, that's 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 not a that's not a good thing there. Mm -hmm. uh, so we also have uh, Cameo on the line. Cameo, I see you're there. Bazinga. Camille, what's your take on uh, Camber Energy there? As far as uh, wasn't there a show that called that covered this stock, uh, Camille, and uh, said that uh, something was gonna get, this was some, uh, one to watch? I believe last year, I think it was no. Yep. I or maybe it was, that it. was another show. I wonder what show that was. I think that was the one that had the Nissan Toyota or Nissan Front. Yeah. I don't know what it had on it. Yeah, one of, one of those type of shows or something like that. I think it was uh, something talk. I don't know. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Looks like we covered this thing so many times there. So, the shares are trading higher at 9.58%, 23 uh, cents Wednesday afternoon with an increase in the price of oil falling reports suggesting OPEC has agreed to 2 million, uh, 2 million barrel a day uh, output cut. Uh, so basically, what they did is they just copied off Bazinga. There's no, I, it's almost word for word. Uh, so we're not going to read that. What else do you have, Kagi on Berkowitz? Um, how about this one from Ren F 7 He he says bullish. C I, brother Macho Trader bought in heavy today. If he bought in today, best believe we're moving up real quick. The man calculates every moves he makes and is a master chart analyst. Only up from here, LFG. And he's got a uh, GIF picture of, uh, I think it was a famous wrestler it, it's biting into a Slim Jim saying, oh, yeah. Spot <laughs> into a Slim Jim. That would gym. be the Randy Macho Man Savage. I Snap into a Slim Jim. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. You like that? Oh yeah. So, so uh, going on to uh, they, they, we had uh, at least like a link on uh, stock twits. Uh, I hate to do this, man. I shouldn't even give them credit or show them any advertisement. I'm on CNN politics, dude. They they're actually I think the new management there is calling them out. They said inside the outhouse, a uh, failed effort to dissuade OPEC from cutting oil production to avoid total disaster. No, the total disaster is is you freaking start getting things online and uh, you start th this way in a couple years or a year, you can get back to normal, man. You should, They shouldn't have did anything because it's going to end up in a disaster and you're going to get people pissed. Do we, do guys, do we really need to read from uh, CNN Politique? I'm glad it took them two years to get online to, to actually criticize anything. Huh? Yes, sir. Matter of, fact, matter of fact, let's just get off of CNN. I just don't even... It's just disgusting that they took that long to freaking. I, I appreciate Whimsy the the post there, but I mean it's nice that they're criticizing there, but it's just a day late and a dollar short. Hey, that's a good take right there. Did you see that, Kagi? What else do you got on the twits for comments? Uh, how about this take from Jack eight thirty? He says, "C I bullish. Take notice. Saudis slash OPEC just effed Biden admin." The Biden admin emptied out our reserves to flood the market to temporarily flood the market, lowering gas prices before midterms. Yep. We're weeks before midterms, and I promise you, yep. gas prices <laughs> will skyrocket before midterms. Buckle your seatbelts. Oh, yeah. Easily. Easily, easily. Guys, are we? is this going to be the entry point? where we Remember we predicted oh, we were at six and seven. Uh, let's hope it not it doesn't get there, man. But we had we before he tapped into strategic oil reserve, which we didn't think he was gonna do, we had this thing at six and seven. That would suck. I hope that does not come true. <laughs> I didn't I would you know, I'm not this this should this whole process should have been reversed, man. This is just a dog show. 
And there, yeah. there he is, the beggar in chief. There. So, what do you have? Are you? I mean, look at this in California already. You already see the price jump already. That's uh, she, she advice there. So, yep, energy, 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 and natural gas will go up because. Uh, the United States used to be the Saudi Arabia of natural gas. We are no longer anymore because we have ceased to uh, any of that anymore. Do you guys have anything to add on this? Is this definitely a, a, a watch for you guys? This, uh, this not, is definitely uh, one not to you. pay attention to because this is critical for not only fuel futures, but also for hmm. plastic futures and uh, and lubrication futures so as well as natural national security i got to get that cnn thing off there man because uh if i if i don't get that uh, cnn article off there I, I might get in trouble by the household so mm. it was nice that, that they tried to criticize though you know what i'm saying what else do you have on the twist there Kage? uh let's see this is from hmm Kameo's house, you can get freaking tackled for posting CNN uh, and stuck twats. Here's a here's a take from Stuck Twats. <laughs> Interesting twats, name. Huh? Yeah. Stuck mm. Twats. He says C E I <laughs> bullish. In wishing all a good evening, I'm setting an alarm for two AM Central Time, which is when the Borst Frankfurt stock exchange opens in Germany. Ooh, Every multi-bag spike we've had in last five years has come after a jump overnight from the Germans helping out. Tomo uh -huh. might be fun. And it's got a, uh, a GIF picture of a uh, shuttle at rocket taking off. That's the one thing about the stock twist board and why we're here. We cover these boards, guys, because these people are in tune and they know what they're talking about that's why some of you might say oh dude they don't know what they're talking about these are the real traders not your uh people that are trying to mislead you and trying to get you to click on pookie.com and all that other stuff uh and uh, don't go to that website if it exists so because i just made it up uh so uh trans ocean ltd is the next stock and that would be r-i-g r-i-g if you're following at home the year-to-date chart is up front. Uh, last tick was three dollars and zero three zero zero cents. After market, it was up three cents. Going to the chart, uh, well, it looks consistent for uh, an energy stock. You're seeing some resistance going up. Wonder why the resistance is going up, guys? Are we just going to hear the same alphabet talking points that uh, the Saudis gave the finger to uh, the outhouse? Mm. Pretty much. And what with rising fuel prices, uh, it's just going to be a domino effect, unfortunately, for a dying regime, unfortunately. Uh, going on to uh, what would you say they do here if you don't you can't follow along with uh, I shouldn't be rude like that. It's, it's a great day. Uh, good show there. They engage in the provision of offshore contact drilling services for oil gas wells. It owns and operates offshore drilling fleets such as Ultra Deepwater, Harsh Environment, Deepwater, Midwater. The company was founded in 1953 and headquartered in uh, Steinhausen, Switzerland. Uh, so going on to Stockwitz, Kage, because that's where the real traders are at. Kage, what do you have on the Twits? Uh, how about this take from Josh2017? Tw he says, Oxy XOM. EOG and RIG, the one we're doing right now, bullish. Mm -hmm. On May 12th, administration is canceling the Alaskan oil and gas lease. Would have given companies the opportunity mm -hmm. to Cost drill for oil good. in an area spanning 1 million acres. Mm -hmm. American Petroleum Institute called the decision another example of the administration's lack of commitment to oil and gas development in the U.S., like watching a train wreck mm -hmm. in slow motion. Uh, Remember the quote that you, take ha from you always it. said, didn't have to, you didn't have to touch anything. Hmm. Huh? No, remember the quote you had long ago, though? Is, do you remember the quote you had, Kage, Kage, that you said about not touching anything and let just things be? Yeah, let sleeping dogs lie. Do. 
or rather he had let everything... sleeping giants lie. Mm -hmm. uh, um, what else do you have on the Twitch? How about how about this one from Just Beers? He says, "R.I.G. Amazing how all other com oil companies got back to August slash September highs, but this trash is red and not even near." Hmm. <laughs> you you know you know with this that they I I there I do remember covering this before. Uh, you know, there's a reason why things are going going uh, on the good side here right now. Now we covered this before, and we how many times have we covered this, guys? This this stock is it it pops during those times because you're it's another news wave stock. Uh, yeah, you can call it garbage, but it's 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 what you do with the uh, energy stocks is you that there's people that swing them and things like that and play the energy game. Uh, it's a good game to play, uh, but. You know, there's some people that'll come on here. They, there's some people here on the boards that just do not. That's just their opinion. They do not like this company. Can you guys recall some of the bears that there were on this one before? Do you guys remember? I remember. How about you, Camille? Do you remember when they were just talking? A lot of people were talking crap about this one. They didn't like it. They always people always do. And now look yeah. like that. Yeah. Do you think? Do you, th do you think? I told just them trying... I need to keep a close watch because I knew mm -hmm. it was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, and there, there's also that some of these guys are, you know, they try to tell you to jump off the bandwagon. It's not good. Uh, it looks they announced the contract for Hash Environment Semi-Submersible Transocean Nord. Uh, this was on uh, last news of September 22nd. Uh, do you see anything on the Twits, Kage, as far as uh, news that's not in the alphabets that people need to know or it's hidden before I read through this? Uh, uh, stuff that's hidden on Stock Yeah, Twits? any hidden news articles. Just look for any hidden news articles that you can see on the twits or any relevant comments. I'm just going to go through because this is pretty important that people should need to know uh, because, you know, the traders on the board might, but, the, you know, the new the new person out there might not. Uh, Norge is granting the exclusive right to drill in wells in respective drilling campaigns starting 2023 and 2027 subject to rig availability and uh, other conditions. It provides that they will drill 11 wells for winter shell D sword D Norge in six wells for Norge A portion of the work is subject to operator and government approvals. Assuming all approvals are received, the full contract period is 1,071 days at the average day rate of 408,000, which contribute to 437 million in backlog exclusive bonuses and uh, additional services. So that is huge. That's one thing that's not covered in there. Uh, the current term is 208 days, approximately 72 million in backlog. Uh, which excludes anything, and that's not counting uh, how much a barrel of oil goes up per day with uh, the crisis and with the supply and demand in the U.S. and around the world, and with the current crisis over in uh, Europe and Asia. So uh, what do you guys have to add about this one? Uh, is this just riding the wave? Let's just say the take is here. Are we riding news waves here with this stock, or is this one to watch because it's going to ride the news wave with the, with the oil? Well, we need to I watch think it's it. going to rise with the news, I think, with mm -hmm. uh, how things usually develop during the uh, changing of the seasons. Mm -hmm. it and is, so it, it, I would give this a good watch. Um, if you want to get in, that's your call. Um, it might be a good value. It might not necessarily be a good value. But what is transparent is that oil will always be a commodity that almost everyone needs throughout throughout the world and given that that might help steer your course for what you want to do with this stock it's also a hedge against some of the other ones that are going to be falling with the economy coming down with your I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, unless things are change or change around and mix up, I'm pretty sure quarter four is going to be bad too uh, with GDP. But I could be wrong. But that's just uh, what I'm thinking. Uh, and what 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 was what were you saying before? Uh, sorry, Camille. Watch it because it's going to go somewhere. I can assure you that. Get it while yeah. you can. Get in while you fit in. It's not like we haven't talked about rig before, so that's the thing. It's not the first appearance on the show. Uh, it's popped before, and it's here again, popping in the news. So 
we'll have to see where that's at. And uh, do you guys have anything to add before we take off out of here? Uh, I would say with the stocks that we've mentioned, energy is going to be in demand no matter mm -hmm. what season it is. And it's always going to be in demand for whatever reason, whether it's plastics, whether it's fuel, whether it's for coolant, lubrication, or other such products that are derived from crude. So, mm -hmm. I need to buy some lubrication. Yep. And uh, with, with everything, uh, you're living in a freaking clown world, and all this could have been prevented. Uh, but, you know, who am I? I'm just one person with a show, we and just... uh, is what it is. So hate to see hate to see people going into Christmas time, and hopefully this thing don't get up to five bucks. So five bucks here, the average. I'm talking about the average price nationwide. Some places you're at, you know, you're higher than that. So uh, hopefully things can reverse course somehow. Uh, uh, I imagine that the only way it'll shift course is if new policy is implemented by new leaders in office, ones that are more are more along the lines of putting the people of and citizens of their country first and not necessarily the rest of the world first oh so you mean people that are not driven by ideology and things like that and actually think of reality oh it'd be amazing if the two parties I, I would like to see that happen i would like men of conscience and sensibility get into office and actually work for the benefit of the country and not necessarily for their own ends. Mm -hmm. Anything to add for you uh, before we bust out of here, uh, Camille? Watch, the, watch, uh, watch the girls. Watch, and watch, the watch the girls and watch your ass and watch your money. Mm -hmm. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now.